good day friends i am raj this weekend i am going to ulladula now i am in mount pleasant lookout it's on the princess highway this lookout comes after kayama overlooking very beach i couldn't catch well on my camera but you can see the view from here on the way my suggestion is go to geringong and have your coffee next is nangari restaurant it's on the princess highway again they have shades you can relax for a few minutes toilets taking 5 minutes break most of the rest area is 24 hours stay some will say the sign board of 4 hours or 6 hours but this one is 24 hours the, even the truck this side can park caravan camper vans all the big vehicles can be parked here for 24 hours you see the sign board there and see the and uh, follow the rules the left side for the small cars and the toilets and the sheds in the middle usually whenever i go i take a break here for 5 10 minutes relax and then i start my i can then i continue my journey the name of this rest area is nangari rest area the next stop is nantian temple i have given separate video about this temple because i was going to ulladula so i covered this temple as well i've been here twice and this is my third visit this is the first time i'm visiting in spring it's beautiful you can see the trees with colorful flowers and the temple is very neat and clean still it is a practicing uh, religious place it's one of the famous buddhist temple in sydney so now i am in ulladula going to have my morning coffee then going to have a swim in ocean pool it's a free ocean pool in australia most of the pools ocean pools sea pools or rock pools are free so it is managed by the shoalhaven council it's in the harbour area it's a small town so it's not very hard to locate where the ocean pool is not much crowded now i'm going for a bit of walk to cover the harbor it's nicely arranged big rocks in the marina you can see a lot of boats parked here it was sunday morning early morning still a lot of people might be sleeping in the town i think that's the gateway to get into the ocean so all the boats will go from here this is the pathway so now you are looking at ulladula town center it's one big strip all the shops and then left and right there are few streets with the shops and the parking they have plenty behind the big buildings in the right and left they have the parking and just currently where i'm driving on the left side next to the common wealth bank you have a free public toilet my suggestion always carry a toilet roll with you most of the places they have a toilet roll but in case if it is not replaced in, that will help you so you can see the sign board there parking so you can access woolworths coles shopping and all the famous brand of gas available okay now i am heading to warden head lighthouse they have 
made such a beautiful arrangement to see this lighthouse plenty of car park mostly all the seaside towns in australia in nsw as i noticed they have still the lighthouse that's amazing to see the history of australia i noticed few minutes ago like 25 people were doing cycling and they just made u turn in this circle this town and around this town they do a lot of wine they have a lot of wineries so you can do wine tasting too or you can do in the ocean whale watching or something else you can hire a boat you can just enjoy and relax in the park this from this lighthouse you can see the sunset and the sunlight or just look at the ocean how beautiful it is next i'm going to show you uladula beach and the uladula information center i'm this is uladula beach is just near the town center there are few beaches just close to the road you can just relax sit and watch uladula harbor side uh, is very beautiful to see so you look at in the middle there's the road left side is the beach and the right side is the information center so you can go to the information center and grab the information what you need the people are very helpful Okay, now it's about me. I am Raj. I live in Sydney. Usually every weekend I go somewhere. I do a lot of road trip. I do a lot of campings, and I do I do a lot of walkings, coastal walkings, or I cover some events as well, and then I will post it in my channel. So if you like to know more about what I said, subscribe to my channel to get the updates. I hope. you enjoyed this video like and subscribe to support my channel uladula and surroundings they do oyster farming so i noticed in some places they were selling oysters at very low price so if you are coming to or going back to your home to sydney or any other towns you can just grab two three dozens and then take home If you like wines do the wine tasting tour and grab some wine bottles with you or you can do whale watching but there is a certain time only you can do that so you can check at the websites and then book the tour So now I am taking to the information center I am not getting down in the center I am just driving through the center just showing you the car park so if you are coming with a big van or a small car or the trailer you have some idea whether the center has got enough parking to turn around for the caravans or the camper vans that's the reason i am just driving in and out so this is the entry information center just opposite to the beach just in the town center it's a big road it's easy to turn around just turn left So there is a U turn here you know you can make a U turn here it's like a circle and then you go back you can go straight as well and then exit if it's a small car just park here and make a you park anywhere here and then turn around and go back to the same road left so what i'm doing the same thing i'm doing my car is not too big i just took you you turn and going back if it's a camper van or caravan just go after parking just go straight and then turn left so you have enough parking here for the big vans 
see you in the next video thanks for watching if you have any questions leave in the comment i will reply